Hey guys, I'm the Historian Ghost Center here. We are in the town of Kenduskig. Kenduskig? It's hard to say. Ken, K E N D U S K I U E G. Kenduskig. Um, home to the Kenduskig River, which is where, on a side note, which I've gone before, is where the Pine Barrens are based out of. That's where Lover's Leap is. Um, the kids at the Losers Club and It hung out. That's based on Kenduskig, Stephen King. But that's not why we're here. Here to get weed. Just <laughs> off the road, actually. Cannabis Labs. Um, pretty good size joints for a decent price. But we're here because we stopped at the local cemetery. Here's one of the gates here. And it's open. It's rather long. Rather beautiful. Very much kind of off the beaten path. If you don't know where it is, you're not going to come here. It's not on the main road in Kandestig. Um This is an interesting grave. But there are a lot of soldiers here from all the wars. Some that were killed in action in the Civil War. There's monuments to them. We're going to see that here in a second. I'm here with Heather Witchin now. It's rather warm on this August day. I believe it's August uh, 15th. Haiti North. Look at this, 1875. And, and here's the front fence with a cannon. G-A-R. Erected and dedicated to the comrades of, of Daniel White Post number 918. G-A-R. June 28th, 1905. In memory of the blah, 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 blah. Comrade Cemetery. And it's unknown. And then they got this right here. I think it's the honor roll of the men here that served, men and women that served World War II. The honor roll of the men and women that served in Korea uh, War that are here and um, Vietnam as well. Rather impressive cannon there. Um, drove by here a couple months back. Ma'am there. And it was during the winter time. I wanted to come back with Heather. So now we are. And... Uh, you can almost smell the cow manure. You can smell the fresh cut grass across the street. You can hear cows and chickens. There's those farms, nice church. Here's the gate here, front gate. It's very much a peaceful, quiet, quaint cemetery. A couple of cars have gone by. The cemetery's even got a trash can. Washing or cleaning of gravestones by family members only, no exceptions. So here's the front. Like I said, some cars are going by. That's not, I'm not too worried about it. Look at the vines growing right there in the pole. And here's what really lured me into it was this. Beautiful sign. Beautiful gate. With the roses. And there's more of the cemetery there. Farmland, church. There's a road we came in on. And uh, here's the placard that Heather Witchin was reading. I took a picture. Skimmed by it. But these are people here from the Revolutionary War. One person, the War of 1812, the Aroostook War, Spanish America War, Civil War, and those are all killed in action. Some aren't even buried here, but they are from this town. So you got these steps here, really nicely fashioned with these beautiful trees, metal trees with green painted tips. You got another cannon overlooking everybody. And then you got a, the, uh, the tomb here. Knessig tomb, unknown and not forgotten. May you rest in peace. So. Must be where the unknown people are, maybe. I don't know. We'll do some research. There's a wind chime in back. I didn't even see that. There's a nice one here. February 8th, 1958. Jerry Gallant. You see in the back of the thing, there's a wind chime. The back of the gate. She's in the car. All right. See that right there? It's cool historians. And there's the gate. So, very beautiful cemetery. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, share it, give me some love. All right, guys, have a good day.